Hello, welcome to my video about how to make a scatter plot out of two metric variables. We'll use 108 homes uh, from the state of Oregon. We're looking at the relationship between the size of these homes in square footage and the price of these homes in thousands of dollars. I like to start my scatter plots by selecting the X data, which should always be to the left of your Y data in an Excel spreadsheet. So I'll highlight my X and Y data, not the labels. I start selecting the data, then press, sh press Shift, Control, Down, Arrow key, and I go Insert, Scatter. First option is what we want. Let's cut this out and paste it near the top. And then I'll do some editing on this graph to make it look more presentable. We don't need this Series 1 legend, so I click on it once and hit the Delete key. The grid lines, click on them once, hit the Delete key. Let's rescale the plot, uh, the x-axis. Let's uh, right-click on that, Format, and change the minimum. Let's start the minimum at 700, and let's go up to 2,900 by increments of... Uh, 400. Press OK. We have all the data. We got rid of most of the empty white space. Right click on the Y axis. Let's change the min, max, and major unit to 50. It's 200. And uh, increments of 25. OK. Uh, let, let's add axis labels. Click on the graph. Go to layout, axis titles. Horizontal below the axis. This is square footage. And then for the Y axis titles vertical rotated. This is price in thousands of dollars. And we'll add axis uh, chart title above the chart. We'll call this a scatter plot of price versus square footage. Kind of redundant given we know the axis labels here. It's kind of a big title, so I'll click on it once, go to the Home tab. Let's change that to size uh, 14. Okay, we're looking good. Let's uh, squeeze the scatter plot. Oops, I'm going to change that font again to a smaller size. There we go. Let's right click on the points, format. Let's make solid. Uh, gray filled points with black border boundaries. Okay, points look kind of large, <laughs> but that's okay. I'll stretch this graph again a little bit. I want the Y to be about the same length as the X. Let's add a border in the middle uh, around the graph area. Right click, format plot area, border color solid. Let's make that gray to match this gray. And then for the outside border, right click, format chart area, border color, let's say no outside border. Okay, so this looks pretty good. It's a, I'll move this title over so it's a little more centered. And uh, I can see there's a fairly strong positive, somewhat linear, but a little bit curved relationship between price and square footage. Bigger homes tend to cost more or sell for more money, so that makes sense. Here's a weird point. I would call this an outlier. These two points have a little bit of a gap between them and the X space. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, between them and the rest of the points, so we might call those high leverage points. And uh, that's it. So this is a basic scatter plot in Excel.